Hey out there, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this fine Sunday? Hope everybody's doing well. I uh, hope everybody's enjoying the summer so far and having fun, getting in vacations and all that kind of stuff, and hopefully also still tinkering with your slot cars and maybe even doing a little racing during the summer. So uh, today we've got a bi-weekly featured car, and uh, it's one of my one of my new additions. This one came from that big lot that I got from my former manager that he found that I ended up purchasing from him. So uh, let's take a look. I'll get set up, and we'll take a look at this week's bi-weekly featured car. All right, so. This week's bi-weekly featured car is my very cool, very cool. I love this car. This is one of the first of these that Hot Wheels, or the Hot Wheels, that uh, Tyco did. Um, this is the McLaren M8F in yellow. Very nice car. Very cool. Now, this one did um, come not 100% complete. Um, it was... And when I found the body, it was missing the interior piece, it was missing the roll bar, and it was missing one velocity stack on one side. Um, I found the, the roll bar in the box with the other car parts and whatnot. And the other two pieces, the interior piece and the uh, other velocity stack, I took off of one of my cars that is uh, the the blue max one the chrome one that and it's chipped right there on the rail so i decided to use some parts from it to make this car complete of course we're still missing the driver's head um i might have to outsource that see if i can't find one come on turntable turn you need to invest in a new turntable this one got broke and ever since it got broke i've tried to fix it but it just not just not turning very well but very cool currently this is on an hp2 chassis but it should should be long on a tyco pro chassis i've got some i've got two wiper uh pickup chassis and i'm gonna try and get them up and running and move this body from this tyco pro chassis to that that is where this car would have been found i don't think this particular uh McLaren in this color combination anyways was on an HP2 at all. I think it was only on a Tyco Pro. The ones that were on HP2s were different paint schemes and whatnot. So, very nice car. Very, I love the M8F McLaren. Very cool car. Very dominant in Can-Am. Especially in this color combo with the, the McLaren orange. It should be orange. This is actually kind of a yellow um, but it, as you know, McLaren, the actual McLaren colors are orange, but, uh, still really nice car in really good shape. A little bit, this side, these side decals are in very good shape. Um, this side, not so much, but still very, you know, still there, still legible pretty much. And then of course the one on the nose is still in very good shape. Um, this is a very expensive car right now that I've only found one. Um, out there, it listed on eBay. Um, new, it, it comes with a comes with the bubble and the base. It is on a um, it is on a Tyco Pro wiper brass pan colored chassis, as you can as you can see right there with the wiper pickups. Oh, that's new. That's cool. So then it comes with the package and the bubble and everything. They're wanting $99.95 for this car right now. Buy it now on eBay. It's the only one I listed. I looked at Etsy, didn't see it at Etsy. These, you can't find these older Tycos at uh, Slot Car Central or uh, Jag Hobbies either. They don't have this old of stuff. So you're going to have to go to eBay or you're going to have to hopefully maybe find one at a yard sale or a slot car meet or wherever to pick one of these up as you can see the decals on these cars varied as you can see on this one the number is actually behind the the uh sponsor decals and which i believe that would be the correct way to the real car that that would have happened that's where the number would have appeared but I, if I remember right, most of these cars, you applied the decals yourself, I think. So it was up to the it was up to the individual person that had them to where they put the decals on them. So people put them in the right spot. Other people, you know, 
didn't so that's that's up to them but still very nice car kind of hard to find there's only one on ebay right now and they want 99.95 buy it now plus another eleven dollars and sixty cents shipping so that's gonna be kind of hard to find so good luck with that one but still very nice car very cool to have in the collection i love i'm starting to get some older tycos now and uh i'm really like starting to like them and uh starting to collect a few here and there to uh, add to the collection and get them running and make them uh, usable cars again so very cool So that's this week's bi-weekly featured car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Very cool McLaren. I love the uh, I love the McLarens no matter what, whether it's the M the uh, M6A or the M8F. Uh, Tyco did a very good job with this car, especially with this particular one because it's so close to what the real car look like in this color combo and whatnot. So that's very cool. And uh, I've liked it ever since I had mine as a kid. I had one. I had the Blue Max Chrome one as a kid. Still have it to this day, actually. It's where, like I said, that's where I stole like, the interior piece and the velocity stacks off of to make this car right. But uh, very cool, very sweet. Don't forget to go check out the merch shop. We we got some very cool shirts up right now, some neat stuff. Also, also mugs and all kinds of other goodies there. Go check it out. Just go to slot dot slot car dash crazy dot spread my spread shop dot com. And you can peruse there and get some, some shirts or some mugs or some cups or hats or whatever you want there. A lot of great stuff there. Go check it out. It helps the YouTube channel out too as well. We get some money. We get money from, from all the sales that we get there. So we get a commission on it. So uh, just go and it helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to go check out SlotCarCrazy.com. You can get to the Spreadshirt Shop from there as well. And don't forget to check out all the cool... Uh, websites and links and and uh, books and all that stuff we got scanned there a lot of cool information there a lot of great stuff there a lot of way to get around the internet to get to a lot of a lot of places every place that we talk about here is listed there you can find them there under the under vendor tabs and the fray tabs and the club tabs and all that stuff so go check that out and don't forget to check out the other youtube channels that are listed on the home page of the youtube channel and that are listed at soccercrazy.com a lot of great information, a lot of great people putting some great stuff out these days. Go check them. Go check them all out. Go all give them some support. All show them that we still love this hobby and we still want this hobby to flourish and to, and to move along to the next generation. So uh, just check them all out. So don't forget to uh, be on the lookout for next week's episode. Not quite sure what we're going to do yet. I'm still kind of working on it. I'm not, I'll, I'll get to you guys later on what we're going to be doing or I might just come on and do it. Could be a news, uh, could be a slot car news episode, or could be a news episode and something else. So just be on the lookout for it. And uh, have a great week. Be safe. Be sane. Have fun. Keep the wheels on the downside and the pin in the slot. Keep racing slot cars, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Bye.